By 2030, it's expected that half of the world's population will be living in water-scarce regions. This could mean that demand for fresh water is outpacing sustainable supply by 40%. There are many reasons for this growing water crisis, and population growth is a big one. We're poised to be at 8.5 billion people on this planet by the year 2030, and population growth is expected to peak at around 11 billion. And the share of water to be shared amongst all those people, it remains the same. In a not too distant future, we'll be needing to produce 50% more food than we are today. Will there be enough water to do that? Certainly not everywhere. And this could lead to intense competition and potentially even conflict between individuals, countries, and sectors. The thing is that it doesn't stop just there. Things that we use every day use so much water and we don't even realize it. Things like a cotton t-shirt, that's 3,900 liters of water. And a smartphone, something nearly everyone holds in their pocket today, that's 13,000 liters of water. The World Economic Forum has consistently ranked this as a major concern in their global risk report, placing it as one of the biggest risks with the highest level of impact. Of course, for our survival as uh, human beings, of course, we need water. And we know that still some 2.1 billion people lack access to clean water. The latest est estimations tell us that even today there are more people dying from diarrhea, which is basically caused by lack of access to clean water and sanitation, than from HIV, AIDS and malaria together. We know that some 80% of all wastewater goes untreated out into the rivers and to the sea and into lakes. That is one very big challenge for the world community. The extreme weather events as a consequence of climate change is becoming more intense and more recurrent. Uh, weather patterns will increasingly be unpredictable, thereby causing an unpredictability in the availability of water. It's about our survival. It's about the future. I claim that water is a truly global issue. There is a huge increase in demand for water worldwide. We need to work together to make water be more smart in the way that we use water in the future because it's a finite resource. We need to recycle, reuse, be more efficient in the way that we use water in the future. Water has to be at the top of the business agenda. As any other kind of stakeholder, also companies will and already do face water challenges. We see already some kind of increasing demand for sustainable production, sustainable products. For example, in the textile or fashion industry, food retailers who try to assess the footprint of their products. One issue where uh, we're currently working quite intensely is the pharmaceutical industry and especially antibiotics production. We see even a kind of paradox situation where the antibiotic pollution from the production actually triggers antibiotic resistance. And this resistance, in turn, reduces the value of the antibiotics if you can't treat the diseases anymore. Water is an entry point for dialogue, for um, uh, partnership building, for peace, uh, when the different countries or the different users of water actually are in dialogue with one another to find the best solutions for sharing that resource. It's actually a very powerful tool for building partnerships. CV, the Stockholm International Water Institute, is a Water Governance Institute working with global water challenges in the areas of transboundary water cooperation as well as on the sub-national level when it comes to providing services for water and sanitation and hygiene. Water governance is really who gets what water, when and how. I think those are the basic concepts of water. And of course for us at CIV it's very important to look into that concept in the way that we should share water fairly, equitably and sustainably in the future. The uh, importance of transparency, accountability and uh, capacitated institutions, making sure that decision making is based on inclusive processes where the stakeholders, the water users themselves, have a voice on how to allocate water in the most efficient and effective way. One of the most important things we can and we have to do is to protect ecosystems. 
Ecosystems are crucial buffers for societies to become more resilient. So protecting and nurturing and making the most out of ecosystem services is absolutely fundamental. One of the areas where we work a lot is actually uh, recommending on policies when it comes to governments at the national level, but also we are exploring more at the city level because that's also where um, the local solutions can be implemented. The way CV works with the Sustainable Development Goal number six, which is on water and sanitation, we are targeting both dimensions when it comes to uh, safeguarding the resources, also by supporting the access to services for safe water, sanitation and hygiene. We see water as a, as a unique uh, resource that is needed for any goal to be achieved. So we claim that water is a connector rather than a sector. Water connects all those goals. It's not easy. It's not easy to change mindsets and paradigms. It's not easy to not to do business as usual, but that's the only way forward. We can stop a global water crisis, but that comes with making right decisions and steering us in the right direction. It is definitely possible to choose a more sustainable future, so we can make active choices in our daily lives to really contribute to a more water-wise world. So let's join forces, let's take action, because we have to act now.